What do I hear? The swallowing sounds, the breath sounds, um, and any secretion sounds. Hello, my name is Suli and I'm a speech therapist at Kotek Bart Hospital. So as speech therapists, we work with individuals with communication and or swallowing disorders. This can include individuals with dementia, who suffered a stroke or have some form of cancer. Um, and predominantly for myself, I work with the ICU and ENT team. So when we first go and see a patient, generally what we typically do is firstly we'll do an oral motor examination to check the muscles of their face, um, to make sure that everything is functioning okay. We'll proceed to do a communication as well as a swallowing assessment. Can you say oo, e? Can you say ah? Uh? Okay, stick out your tongue for me. Okay, move it left, right. Uh, then I'm just going to give you something to drink and eat just to have a quick check of your swallowing. Yeah? What is $2.50 plus $1.30? So if you go home and you see a HDB block, um, black smoke is coming out from it, what would you do? The reason why we do cognition um, screen things like asking them to count money, um, asking them questions uh, about how they respond to certain emergencies is to do a very quick screen of their thinking processes or to see whether there's any cognitive decline or is there anything we need to be concerned about. Or even for like patients who are admitted in the ICU, when they become very sick, we are just worried whether or not they are confused or what we call delirium. So one of the patients that I remember very clearly um, is a gentleman. His speech was um, very slurred, pronunciation of his words were not clear and he was speaking at a very, very fast rate. One of my colleagues who worked with him previously suggested I consider using a pacing board which helps to slow down his rate of speech. With just that slowing down of his speech, um, his wife and myself could understand 50% of what he said. You could see just how happy he turned after that whole session. Um, firstly, because people could understand him and secondly, he finally had a solution to his problem that he has been waiting for. Uh, so I always knew um, I wanted to work in the healthcare industry, um, but medicine, dentistry and nursing was just not something that I thought would work for me. So naturally, I leaned towards the allied health professionals. It just happened that we had an event in school and the MOHH Scholarship Board introduced us to different allied health professions. And they were all very interesting but speech therapy kind of stood out to me. So I decided to read a little bit more about it and went off some attachments with some of our hospitals in Singapore and decided that it was quite interesting and was something that I might want to look into. That's all I have to share. Bye-bye for now.